Hey guys, you are with Phone Arena and this is Luis D. While today's 3D games can make short work of even the most muscular graphics units out there, there is a category of content that was designed for this from the very beginning. It's called a tech demo and it's meant to showcase the most amazing graphics a piece of mobile hardware is able to pull off at the moment. So we decided to round up 5 of these bad boys for your viewing and chipset training pleasure right here. Enjoy the show. QAN Software is an ambitious software development company that's heavily invested into the possibilities for console quality graphics on Android. It made a demo for Nvidia Tegra K1 powered devices such as the Nexus 9 that showcases some honest to god amazing 3D graphics. The technical preview for QAN's engine goes through a forest scene and a dungeon setting, all beautifully lit and full of detail waiting to sink in your retinas. If you don't own the Nexus 9 though, you're out of luck partner. Epic Citadel darn near blew our minds back in 2010 when it appeared on Apple's flagship iOS devices at the time, the iPhone 4 and the original iPad. It was the first time we saw a complete industry standard PC and console gaming engine, that is Unreal Engine 3, running in full glory on a mobile device that isn't a laptop. You just had to be there. Truth be told, Epic Citadel still holds up great, letting you explore a beautiful virtual settlement and taking all the little details and lighting effects that turn Epic Games creative into a piece of art. Some three years after its iOS debut, the Citadel made it onto Android and even though more graphically intense games and demos have shown up since, this one can still give those GPU muscles a proper workout. Number 3 we have Uni2D KT. So, wanna be KT, the caterpillar? Why the heck not? The tech demo is pretty awesome, rendered in absolutely gorgeous two-dimensional graphics and showcasing an elaborate physics engine. Basically, the Uni2D framework that the demo is built upon lets game developers turn still images into dynamic physical objects using sprint and bone deformation techniques. Thus, the branch and the caterpillar you see in this game are all done with a single picture and their movements are accomplished with bone simulation. In addition, to demoing cool development tech, KT is a legit game in which you move the caterpillar with the accelerometer and bend the branch with your finger. Your goal is to avoid the falling chestnuts, then jump on them to break them open and collect bonuses. You are also going to hunt for the elusive red pollen, which doubles your score. But sorry folks, there's no people shooting in this game whatsoever. Next we have The Chase. Now this is an awesome tech demo we have right there. Built by the makers of the Unity engine to showcase their technology to its fullest potential, The Chase is set in a gritty, technologically oppressive future where an epic hoverbike chase commences on an unsuspecting highway. Being an interactive film of sorts, The Chase lets you direct the action by scrubbing back and forth, enabling slow motion, padding and zooming the camera and all sorts of nice things. Next we have the Sky Castle 3D graphics demo. Sky Castle was born out of enterprising developer Kim Stockton's wish to shut up his friend with an iPhone as the Epic Citadel demo from the previous slide wasn't available on Android at the time. This is a demo with the same vibe that's smaller in scope but nevertheless very visually appealing. Enough to have shut up anyone with an iPhone in 2010 that was doubting Android technology's gaming potential. So enjoy the sound tour through this beautiful cybernetic place and feel free to compare it with Epic Citadel.